Hey, what's up everyone? This is Sam from Rococo. Today, I'm super excited to be taking you through the Blender workflow for the Rococo Motion Library. So I'm gonna show you how to grab an asset from the Motion Library, download that asset, bring it into Blender, and then use a plugin called Auto Rig Pro to uh, retarget the motion capture that we've downloaded onto a character that we have in Blender. So let's get right into it. So the Rococo Motion Library is Rococo's uh, motion capture marketplace. You can find it uh, inside of the Rococo Studio app or uh, in Maya, and soon you'll be able to find it uh, directly at, uh, at motionlibrary.com. But for now, it is available uh, within Rococo Studio, which is Rococo's free software that you can get at rococo.com. Uh, you just go to rococo.com and then go under products, and it's here under studio. And this is uh, our uh, motion capture software. So it works with our, our motion capture hardware products, but then also now you can find the Rococo motion library on here. And so if you go into Rococo Studio, you click on this uh, button up here, you can find the motion library. And in the motion library, we have a ton of assets that you can purchase from AAA publishers. We also have a bunch of demo assets that are available for free. So you can just go on and uh, download these and put them into projects to test out the whole system. Today, we're gonna be downloading one of these and bringing it into Blender. So first things first, let's find an asset that we wanna bring in. I'm actually going to go to uh, AXYZ Design. Um, they have some cool ones that I thought would be fun to, to take a, a look at. This football kick, for instance, is really, I don't know, this is very specific and uh, really well acted uh, little animation. If I double click it here, I can go into an expanded view, scrub it. So let's say we wanted to bring this into Blender and retarget it. Um, so to add it to our cart, we would just click this little button here. Our cart would pop up. Uh, we have lots of tutorials going through this process of how to actually find and purchase, uh, purchase assets. So um, you can check those out. We'll link to them at the end of this one. Um, okay, let's purchase this. Add it to our cart. Boom, we're gonna confirm the order, check out. Just gonna think for a second. Boom, purchase successful. So if we click this button, go to my library, and uh, it'll be, I think, at the back, yep. So, and then if we double click it. So we can download it and uh, import it into Blender. In this case, we're just gonna download it. Um, if we click this button here, we can select a uh, project that we can download it into, but basically this is just downloading it into your computer. If you click it right here, import, Boom, we can go import, uh, open import folder and then you can see that we have it right here. Here's our AXYZ uh, football kick, so, so there you go. And uh, you can find this folder if you go into say that project. I just created a project here called Motion Library Assets. This is where I bring all my, my Motion Library Assets and you can just go here and then you could right click, open folder and this would get you to that folder too. It's just the, the folder in your documents where all the Rococo Studio stuff is stored. So. Okay, so we have our animation. Now we're gonna open up Blender. And I'm on Blender uh, 2.8. So unfortunately Blender, uh, you know, at least that we've found, it doesn't have a native retargeting system that, that really uh, is reliable. Again, that we found, you know, we're not Blender experts. If anyone has another workflow that they like more and is free, please post that in the comments below and we'll, we'll check it out and update this. But for now, we recommend using this Auto Rig Pro uh, plugin, which is pretty well known in the Blender community, and you know it's, it's a standard. It's kind of the the go-to retargeting plugin for Blender, uh, you know, for our that we have found. So so this is what we're going to be using. Uh, it does cost forty dollars. You do need the complete version because we need the remap tool, um, and then also make sure you're downloading the right one. I'm on two point eight, uh, so if you're on some an earlier version of Blender. Make sure to grab uh, the earlier version of this plugin. Okay, so we got Blender. I've just got a general file here. I'm gonna click general, delete these guys. Okay, so to install add-ons in Blender, you just go to edit preferences. It's on add-ons kind of by default, and you can install just by going to the zip that you would download from that Auto Rig Pro uh, thing from, from the Blender marketplace. I've already done that. If we type in Auto Rig, Oh, Auto Rig Pro, I've already got it and enabled it. And I can see it right here. 
It'll show up, boom, here's my little interface. Great, okay, so first things first, we need a character on which to retarget our football kick. So I'm going to import an FBX. And so this character, uh, one thing that's super important with Blender when you're importing these FBXs that are, that are for mocap, make sure you always go into armature and click automatic bone orientation. This uh, will really help out. This, is, this can break a lot of workflows if you don't do this, so make sure to do that on this you know, import screen. So we're gonna use this Bruno character, import. Here's our little mime, our little Rococo mime here doing motion capture. Um, okay, so we have our, our character, and this is already rigged. So in order to remap our, um, our, our motion capture, the first thing that I do, and again, this is my workflow, so um, you know if you guys have a better one, please post it. But, but for now, this is, this is the way that I do it in Blender. Um, we've, we've imported our character. I go up, add it to the target. That's gonna be our target for the motion capture. You can see this mime skeleton here. So I'm gonna add that to the target. Now I'm gonna go and grab the mocap itself. File, import, FBX. I'm in my documents, Smart Studio, uh, or, or Rococo Studio, Smart Suit uh, Projects here. Uh, motion library, here we go. That's where we uh, had saved it. Here And here it is, uh, whoop, AXYZ. So same thing. Always go into Armature, double check that this is on. Sometimes it stays on. I don't know why, but <laughs> always double check it because it'll often be off um, and that, that is no good. So import this guy. And this can take a little while. I found that with Blender, um, it, it, you know, it takes a little hot second to import an FBX like, like every program. So it didn't crash. Uh, it's just importing. We'll let it do its thing. Boom, okay, it's in. Let's expand out our timeline here. Boop. And if we play through it. So it actually it kind of starts from over there. Um, but it will always, we always have a, a T pose at the origin for the first couple, I think it's two frames, maybe one frame. Uh, so that, that's always good for retargeting. Um, but then here we go. It's the kick, boom. Okay, so let's retarget this guy. So first thing we're going to do is go into this source armature and we're gonna put reference. And it'll ask you to freeze source armature. I click this. Okay, that's done. Uh, after that, I will hit auto scale. Boom, that'll kind of just, uh, you know, bring it more into line with, with my character here because they're both in the system now. And then I'm gonna hit build bones list. So. Sometimes, you know, this will not build out automatically. It depends on the character that you have. Um, in this character's case, it actually did. Um, I know there's a couple of things I'm gonna have to go in here and check myself though. So I know the left leg never gets retargeted with this character correctly, so I just need to go in. And you can go in and do this manually if this bones list doesn't populate. But in this case, so left leg, uh, I'm gonna go and change this to, it's on left toe, you can see there. This needs to be left shin, left up leg here. This needs to be left thigh. Um, so you might need to go in and, and fix some of these or do this whole thing manually, but then you can, you can save these and, and um, uh, it gets easier kind of after the first time you've done it. Uh, same thing for the right leg for this character. Right leg should be right shin, not right toe. Boop. Right uh, up leg should be right thigh, not right toe, where are we, right thigh. Okay, there we go. So um, now you might think that you could just hit retarget. I've found that when I use this plugin that won't work. I need to go in and hit redefine rest pose. I'm not exactly sure if this is the way that the plugin should be used, but this is how it works for me and this is how I've gotten it to work reliably. So this is my process. So after I've done this, I also go to hips, and I'm gonna set this as root, and then I'm gonna go redefine rest pose and apply. And I'm gonna let this, you know, think think this through. I believe it's just kind of, uh, it's like copying the um, orientation, I think, just making sure that the rigs are gonna have the same orientation when you retarget. If you don't do this, it will sometimes flip the rig or, you know, flip, flip it on an axis, like, like on the, 
on the Z axis. It'll rotate it. I don't know exactly why you need to do this, but it, it works. So that's my process. That's that's the workflow for now um, until we, we find a better one. Okay, now that we've done that, we are ready to hit retarget. And that is just going to basically copy all the, um, you know, all the animation over. And again, this will take a second. So I hit okay, let it think. It didn't crash, just let it do its thing. And there we go. And so now, if we hit play, it should be retargeted. Woohoo! Um, oh, God, it looks so good. Yeah. And I think, you know, the thing about the motion library that's so exciting is that these are just really well performed, you know, these are really human motions. Like this does not, I don't know, with mocap, um, you know, sometimes it's not the best performance because it's it's a real, acting is a real skill and, and kind of, you know, physical acting is a skill. And, uh, you know, whether they had an athlete do this or, or whatever it is, it looks really good and really realistic. Um, and uh, this retargeting process uh, is very reliable and, and works really well. So. I hope that that was helpful. That's kind of the process for now uh, for Blender. Um, from here, you can export this, you know, FBX to Unreal or whatever you need to do. Um, there's a lot of other, you know, functions. Um, you can, you know, export the FBX here um, of this plugin. That that uh, it's a great plugin. You know, you can rig characters uh, kind of in the same way that Mixamo rigs characters, kind of in a very simple interface. So if you have a character that's unrigged, this plugin is great. Um, so I have, you know, it is an investment, but um, but it's a it's, it seems to be a very good uh, plugin with a lot of, you know, a lot of support and stuff. So um, we we like this workflow for now. So uh, if you have any more questions, pop them in the comments below. And other than that, we hope that you guys enjoyed this, found it helpful. Um, you can always get more help from support at rococo.com. And until the next tutorial, stay tuned for more updates on Motion Library and keep creating awesome mocap out there. Okay, thanks everyone, bye-bye.